What's up guys, F Focus, and I had a great idea. So every time you get an M4 or an AK, whether that be an AKS, 74N, whether that be an MPX, anything, the second you get it, the first thing you think about is what can I do to this gun to make it better? That's the first thing you think about. You get a Saiga, you want to deck it out. You get an M4 like this, you want to deck it out. You want a suppressor, you want a new handguard, drum mag, anything. You want something to improve it so it hits harder, better, quieter, because everybody wants suppressors. So I thought, how fun would it be if we did bare bones? Now there's a couple M4s that you can get fairly easy. Obviously the easiest one you can get is just the regular Colt M4A1 that you pay 731 rubles for and then the other one is trading for 153s now I don't ever search computers but if you do this one would be pretty easy to get I'm sure with SSDs I have plenty of flash drives for it but I just never search computers to try and get SSDs but I don't know how rare they are just because I never try and find them so I think that this one right here is the most obtainable so let's go ahead and purchase it. And we're going to match it one for one. It's got a Sting mag. The worst mag ever for me. In my opinion. So we're going to buy another one. That's two Sting mags. And this is as generic and basic as it comes. We're going to buy some 5.56. Five, five, and that's it. This is how we're going to go out into the raid, just like this. Now we're going to call this a bare bones M4 because nobody ever rolls a bare bones M4. And people that don't have that much money, they tell themselves, well, I can't go out and do what you can do because I can't mod out my M4 quite as easily. So this is going to show and prove to you guys that you don't need hardly anything. No, I'm not going to take a tri-zip, I'm not going to take armor or a kiver. This is just going to be straight bare bones M4. Now, I highly recommend that you take an arm, at least some armor out. And try. And uh, scav backpacks are fairly easy to get your hands on, just off of scavs later on in the raids, and you'll be fine. Ford armor, obviously not that easy to obtain, but you can get them off of scavs. And then the same with kivers. Kivers you can purchase from Skier once you hit level 4. I know it's a little bit of a pain in the ass to get Skier to level 4, but I definitely recommend doing it because Kivers are worth it. They're 27,000. But this is how we're going to roll out, just like this. Now I'm going to show you, show you guys that you can do well with an unsuppressed, unsighted, unmodded M4. Alright, here we are. One thing you've got to keep in mind when you're rolling an unsuppressed M4 and unmodded, you've got to have the first shot, and as soon as you shoot, you've got to reposition. Damn, I don't know if you can hear that. Someone's rushing far. They're already passed. Somebody went prone. They're already fucking passed convenience store I kind of searched this whole storage area over here and I didn't see a single person so makes me think that I'm in here with a big group I started after a minute I've been here for about three minutes now I haven't seen it in a while but when you're playing full on daytime like this on customs always come up to the top and check down here for people camping or right over there by the trees and I always come over here and check make sure there's nobody on top it's really easy to get somebody off guard like that hell yeah my endurance is level 48 what I'm fucking talking about
Damn, man. These guys are fucking good. Let me... I was just about to say, did, that, did they get him at bus stop? I think that answers my question. Fucking hate that patch of gray. Yeah. Bye bye. Everybody. N Everybody knows what unsuppressed M4 sounds like, by the way. So. So, like I said, as soon as you shoot that, you better be prepared to face the consequences. Alright, found some armor. And a bandana to look badass. There's still a guy out there to our right. And I've found some other dead bodies over here. Which means that somebody else has been through here. So it looks like they just respawned. That guy's still back there, I do believe. It only sounded like he had a pistol. And because I just shot all those shots unsuppressed with the M4, it has a very distinctive sound, I'm not going to stay around. I want to be near the area, but I don't want to be on the area of the shots. What the fuck? What the fuck was this player's cab doing? <laughs> Alright, so after rewinding it, I realized that I should have seen this guy, but I was totally blind. If this guy hadn't moved, he could have just lined up a headshot and killed me. Now, I know that he moved out of the way to line up a headshot and kill me because he didn't think I'd be expecting it, but I heard him, and that's whenever I stood up. He kind of had a little panic attack and tried to go up and shoot, but he was wanting to get a clean shot since I didn't have a kiver. It just didn't really work out in his favor. I'll show you guys a tactic that I use right here all the time. Come over here and you lay down. If there's ever a, an AI hiding back there, you'll be able to kill him, hopefully. What's he doing? 
What's that guy doing? Is that a player's guy? Okay, real shitty key. Real shitty key. Oh, come on, I saw you. You don't want to repeat the same spot because obviously AI or aimbot, so. He just had an AKS. Oh, he had Ford armor though. Okay. And I headshot him so I didn't fucking destroy it. Let's see if we can't find another grenade off of this guy. I'm not entirely convinced that. We're all filled out on gear though. Nice. I mean overall not a bad run. We didn't really get that much gear. We just got some stupid gear to sell. But uh, I mean we got some decent... Uh, the IFAC was a good find. And Fort Armor makes it worth it right there. Okay so. We just joined a raid that's been going on for six or seven and a half minutes. Almost eight minutes. Holy fuck. What the fuck that was about? What the fuck is going on here?
Oh my god. What the fuck ever, dude. Let me climb up my hill, you bitch. Fucking busted his armor. Okay. Well. You have any grenades on you, partner? That's shooting from behind, man. Thanks, partner. Buddy, old pal, old buddy. I just passed that guy and he wasn't there. Oh, they were shooting. Ah! This shit is wild, dude. Oh my gosh. I'm, don't get me wrong, I'm glad I brought the bare bones M4, but I wish I had brought grenades. Jesus. Man, those guys were split heavy for being partners. What am I on? Could just press the L. This guy does have a Ketter. We don't really want to fuck with him. Grenades on you? Man, I really want to go search the other guy I killed way up there. Well, we heard him. That's how you wean them out. <laughs> Just like that. Hey, 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 he was a Ketter guy. But who killed him? Uh oh. Am I about to get murdered? Probably, probably. Oh, and he had a grenade on. Oh, and a lamp. Gonna go ahead and take these because it's becoming nighttime. 
I'm actually gonna go drink this stupid ass juice also. I mean, it'd be nice to keep these, but I don't really need them. Oh. Oh, what the fuck? I didn't solve anything. I would search all of his mags and shit, but I don't use the Keter. So I'm just gonna sell it. thought that's what you had. That's why I made room for it. Whenever he should have a grenade too. He was gonna try and throw one. Did I kill him? I do not think I killed that guy. Yes, that's what I thought he looked like he had on. I'm actually gonna go ahead and why the fuck he had Ford armor on too. D I wasn't on full auto. I wasn't on full auto. Oh. Jeez, that was a close one. I even laid pro and I did not see that guy because it's so fucking dark. Jesus, that guy hasn't been up there in so long. I'd never even think to look up there anymore. Bare bones M4, boys, in all of its glory. That's real nice right there. Real fucking nice. Recap. Got a OK AK-74N, and then we got another OK... Uh, AK. Another OK AK-74N. Wow, that's a fucking tongue twister. Uh, the real big important thing, though, is the fact that we got some uh, fort armor and some kibbers. And when I say some, I mean just one. I mean, we we got some pretty nice gear on it. We just did two raids and we got two fort armors and everything. So, for those of you guys that are worried or think that you need to have a fully modded M4 to do well, I just want to showcase right here that it proves that you do not. Nothing on here is very high. Now I've got my mastering to level two, but that's it. It's not le it's not level three or anything. It's it's just the level two basics, and I just want you guys to know 
that even though I don't have the fancy grip, I don't have the better mags, whether that be a drum mag or my favorite, the G ones, or I don't have a different hand guard or a suppressor or anything. Luckily, with the bare bones, it does come with a compensator, which definitely helps with a little bit of the recoil. But the, the base stock isn't the greatest. And luckily for me, I guess I could say, I like iron sides. But you can obviously make your M4 way better. A different hand guard, a grip. The grips make all the difference in the world. A suppressor actually helps with muzzle velocity and some recoil as well as, well as uh, the flash of your gun. Because as it started getting night there, every shot I took, if there was a PMC or even a scav player in the vicinity, they could have seen my flash. And of course the new AR uh, like grips, those definitely, definitely, definitely help. Of course you definitely want, like I said, a different buttstock. So, like I said, if you have the money, definitely drop it into it if you would like. But, this just showcases that the AR is an unmatched gun. As long as you can hit your shots, you can roll in with a base AR and you'll win. Alright, that's it guys. Remember, hit that like button, subscribe, share if you like, but most importantly, enjoy. I do this for my father, who I've only seen from time to time in my dreams. I do this for you. I do this for my mother, who's finally clean, no longer a fan. I do this for you. I do this for my sister, my wife and my kids, because they part of the team. I do this for all the naysayers.